presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement. Create a new one and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 345 at NASDAQ off 169, SPs off 43, gold. Gold contract up 220, trade at 1799. We got silver up 4 cents, $22.45 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 81 cents, $78.09 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note. Down three ticks, 128.06. The 30 year up 13 at 155.16 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is uh, up 267 ticks, trading 95.986. The euro is at 113. The yen is at 115.22. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazda, head of product and managing director at Direction, at Direction Chairs. And as you're over to our website, folks, at TFNN, you're going to see the banner in the very top. You hit that banner, bring you over to Direction. You'll see all the different ETF structures that they have that you can either put portfolios together. You can trade each and every day. Dave Mazda, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Good to be back. Yes, and uh, it's great to have you back. And, you know, well, we have a two-way market here. I mean, <laughs> this NASDAQ today, Dave, whoa, baby. If you haven't seen the NASDAQ today, for, or the market in general, but the NASDAQ, folks, was down over 500 points. It's only down 150 right now, only 150. But the bottom line is that we have a two-way market, which is a beautiful thing, actually. So, yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Look at these markets, Dave. I mean, you know, we will have a different conversation here for maybe four or five weeks. <laughs> you know, I mean... When we look back in the last two or three years, I mean, longer than that, I mean, realistically, there's always been that trend up, up, up. And now, you know, we get a little bumpy ride here. Yeah, look, you could, uh, you know, if you spend enough time on Twitter, you can find a, a stat to prove to prove anything that this has been, you know, the best three years in the market, best 10 years, what have you, valuations at all time highs. Um, but what we do know is that the, ever since the global financial crisis, we've been in a low interest rate, no interest rate, and in some cases, negative interest rate environment. And that means that the pricing of different types of stocks, so stocks with high multiples, high expected revenue, set aside earnings growth, was extremely bid up. And now we're seeing markets begin to maybe adjust to what's an environment look like where we're not just printing money as aggressively. And in fact, we've moved from this so-called QE, quantitative easing, to QT, quantitative tightening, tightening plus interest rate hikes, and it's spooking the markets you yes. know, for good reason. Um, but I think the selling has been really sharp, uh, particularly opening this year. Maybe that's because people actually took that, that long week, that week off between uh, you know, your Christmas holiday and your, your New Year's holiday, and it's a bit of catch up here, especially as the moves in the tenure have been really aggressive. Yeah, there's no doubt. And you know, folks, I remember when the last time rates went up, I believe it was six quarters at a time. Greenspan went up six times in a row. And, you know, the market gets, it's interesting, the market gets used to it. I mean, but 
guess what? That's the first time that I knew that, you know, when they say take away the punch bowl, they really take away the punch bowl, man. <laughs> and, of course, he overshot at that point, but um, you, you can see market-wise, you know what's really good? You know what the difference now, which is really cool, when that was, folks, we didn't have as much product like direction shares to actually go both ways. You know, of course, we could go shot the queues, and, but people have a much better, a much bigger, um, basically, menu of how they can protect themselves if they want to protect their portfolio, or in fact, if they want to go in a bearish position when they're thinking it's going to go down. You know, so it's pretty cool that we have many more products now that you can actually protect yourself or make money when the market is basically soft. Yeah, it's funny you bring that up. We were talking uh, with, uh, um, with with our traders and a few other folks on, on our kind of Monday call this morning, and uh, it wasn't that long ago, and you know this well, Really, the gold miners, you know, your nuggets, your dust, your J nugs, your, your, your J nug, they were really what I'll call the hero products in our lineup. That's where the most trading volume was. The assets were yes. activity, both was happening on a two way basis. Last couple of years, the trading has moved toward TechL, which is uh, the, the broad based SP 500 tech um, uh, bull fund that we have, also SoxL, yeah. uh, you know, on the just in the semi side, uh, and, a, and a few others like WebL. Um, that we WebL and WebS that we launched recently just focus on those kind of internet names. But now, again, we're seeing a, a fund like FAS, which is a bull financials fund, FAZ's the bear, come back really strong in the last couple of weeks from a volume perspective. Also, I'd encourage folks to look at a, a ticker DPST, that it would, stands for deposit, just region, that's regional banks on the bull side. So there's a breadth of products that, that traders can look at particularly if we're saying, if we believe we're in an environment where growth stocks may be a bit softer, or even if they come roaring back, we're gonna be, it, it's gonna be a big battle here um, as the, the market digests the pace uh, and path of these rate hikes, because we know it's coming. Powell's very concerned about making a mistake communication-wise, like they did in the fourth quarter of 2018 and saw the market tank 20% before bouncing back, that that doesn't happen, but the market's moving here. Um, so traders need to stay on their toes. Yes. And I'm elated you brought up these two uh, ETFs. Because what you have, and what the ETFs I'm talking about, folks, is the DPST, okay, which is, which is basically the regional banks, and, of course, the FAS, which is the large banks. You know, because the, the reality, you know, is that, okay, it's a large turn in the market. Everyone's telling us rates are going up. And if you believe that, folks, the bottom line is that banks are going to make more money. And you know what's so wild about that, Dave, is that they, the banks don't even have to trade like an investment bank. I need a deal. They already have the money. So if the spread gets bigger, guess what? They're going to make more money. I mean, it's, that's, how it, that's how it shakes out in the banks. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. So the setup here for financials um, uh, from a trading perspective, going into earnings season, which is kicking off this Friday, which is crazy to think about. Yes. Uh, really, uh, with, you know, with a bunch of the mega cap banks and others next week. This, we gotta be on our toes. I think there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for, uh, for action uh, heading into Friday and then into next week for the financials. There's no doubt. Well, listen, thanks so much for the education. Really appreciate it. Look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today, Dave. Talk soon. Thank Happy you. Trade. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow's down 338. Nasdaq's off 159. S&P's off 41. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 320. You get the NASDAQ off 136. S&Ps are off 36. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Kick the year off right, folks. Start it off right. Get the newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. You're just going to see... Mastering Probability on the right-hand side, you can get the newsletter for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You get them. You enjoy it. Great. Something works. If it doesn't work for you, guess what? You just tell us. You're going to get your money back. Check it out right in the front page of TFNN. Steve Rhodes. What's going on? Football playoffs. I know, <laughs> man. I know. And how about Pittsburgh, huh? I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I was happy for Ben, big time. I mean, I, 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 I want to see Tampa win, but if, if I didn't have a team, I'd all, I'll miss that. That'd be quite an ending to a, you know, career if you, yeah, you know, basically. He's, he's a yeah. He's a great, he's a great player. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's, he is the type of guy that just never gives up, you know, which is, and, and many athletes have that same thing. Sure. But in the case of, you know, in his case, he's, uh, you know, I, you love watching him play. I, I love watching Seriously. him play. Seriously. That's for sure. It seems uh, like these guys, just like, remember we, I mean, three or four years ago, we we're talking about hockey players just keep getting better. These football players keep getting better, man. It's like, oof. It's amazing, I, you know, man. The, the, the catches that the, these receivers exactly, can make. Exactly. You know, that, that's kind of what I'm talking about, too. I know. And, yeah, it's like, how do you do that, man? <laughs> you know, yeah, I think it's called a lot of, of, uh, of sticky on their uh, on their gloves. But still, even that, you know, yeah. even if the gloves are a little sticky, right. still, it's it's extraordinary, it, you know, in, in real time. In, in real time, fast action. It, it is amazing to see some of these plays. So tonight's game, though, that's the big game right now. We've got the Georgia... Uh, Alabama game. Oh yeah, so, right. Oh, that's gonna yeah, be good. So, okay, good. Yeah, so that'll be a that's, big game. That's I, something I, to look forward to, big time. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I good. play in a football pool uh, every college football season. Okay. Uh, this this is the first year that I have been. I'm tied in first place with uh, two other guys. Oh. If I get, I've, go I've, Tiger I've, Steve. I've, I've won the number. I've won the largest number of games. So if I win tonight's game, I, I win. I win the tiebreaker and the whole bit. But the question is, which of these two teams is going to win? It's going to be a close game, you know. And uh, so, who do you so have? I'll be cheering. I for have them. right now. I've got Alabama. I'll cheer uh, for Alabama. Is, Perfect. 
Yeah, and in my football pool, I chose Alabama and Georgia to make it to the finals. Okay. So, but you know, the, and, and during this football playoff season, and with Omicron and, and all the COVID, you know, so many games were canceled. Yeah. So many games you had to go back and take a look at who was playing. Who was out sick? Right. You know who was. I think so far. I think the staffs are are pretty healthy, or the players are pretty healthy. So so that uh, you know you're you're going up against you're going up uh, against uh, you know just great teams. I mean these right. are both kind of like NFL quality teams. So sure. should be a great game. I've got Alabama. I don't think I'll change it, um, but I won't be surprised to see either team win. No, you know, that's the. Yeah. That, that, that's the problem. So in any event, if we just get to the markets here real quickly, um, one of the patterns that, that uh, I've shared with you and, and all of our listeners out there that I use to help identify tops and bottoms is the TD9 count. And so this morning at about 11 o'clock, we had TD9 count bottoms that formed inside the ES, the uh, Dow Equity Future Contract, the YM and the RTY. The NQ, which staged a nice, as you've mentioned, is sta- staged a nice uh, rally, uh, that formed a buy the D point. So all four of these equity future contracts had formed valid bottom patterns. So that what was cool was coming and doing the one o'clock show. Uh, markets were still down and kind of pulling back was to be able to share with folks and step step by step walk through what the markets were communicating to us. So the TD9 counts really important pattern. I teach that to subscribers. We use it during the radio shows. And you may recall a few weeks ago before we were coming into the end of the year, I had mentioned that this is starting to look real serious. So we could see a pullback of perhaps two to three years. And the reason is, is because when I took a look at the yearly charts for the indices, we had the Dow form a TD9 count top, the S&P, the Russell 2000, the uh, Semiconductor Index, the NASDAQ Composite, and the New York Stock Exchange. So four of these six indices that are on our charts out here show yearly TD9 topping signals. And we may just get a, a pullback in, you know, into October. That's one possibility. The other possibility is this turns into something more ominous and maybe a two to three year pullback out here. So uh, the last time, if you take a look at, I think it's the S&P 500 where I've got the blue diagonal arrow, okay. you'll see the last time we had a TD9 count, we saw that three year pullback. So that's part of where this uh, comes from. Yeah. If I take a look at, Tom, the daily index charts out here, each of them uh, have topping patterns. So the Dow's got a TD9 count pattern. The S&P has a butterfly sell, a sell the D point pattern. The NDX 100 has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The Russell's got a sell the D point pattern. The semiconductor index has a, a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. We've, so we've got daily charts are suggesting, okay, we've got a top in place. Weekly charts. Last week, we've got confirmations inside the uh, Dow for a weekly top inside the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell 2000. So the whole, they asked the semiconductors, kind of the whole kit and caboodle. So, uh, and, and one of the things that, uh, and now, what we should at least at a minimum anticipate here, Tom, is the, we're in the unfavorable seasonal cycle, which typically uh, begins right right in the middle of last week. So January 6th, I, I don't remember if that was Wednesday or Thursday of uh, last week out there. Maybe, but so one of the days last week. And so we should see the markets uh, pull back at least through the end of the month, which is typically right around the end of uh, January from a seasonal standpoint. If we do get some type of bottom towards the end of the month and that bottom eventually gets taken out, that's what's going to be another signal for you and I that the markets are likely to head lower, at least into the October time frame. Now, where I come with the October time frame, frame. There's really two time periods during the year on an annual basis when the markets make their significant bottom. The first one is the end of uh, January. The second one is typically sometime around the middle of October. Okay. So that's why I say if we if we fail, if we even if we form a bottom and then it fails, to me that's a signal that we go down into that next bottoming time frame, which could be October or it could be more than that. So those are some of the things that I'm looking at. Um, and you had mentioned uh, with your with your last guest, you know, volatility is rising. And you and I talked about this last week. This is a weekly chart of the volatility index. And this is at the bottom portion of the screen. And going back into the 2007 top, we had a rising bottoms. And that's that uh, yellow diagonal area. Well, guess what? We've got a rising bottoms pattern that's been in place here since 2018. And when you put that together with those yearly TD9 count tops, uh, that's what really has me concerned. But the real proof in the pudding 
will be if we see closes below the bottom of the weekly profiles. In the upper right-hand corner is the ES Mini. Yeah. In those green lines, they represent the support levels. These are the bottoms of the weekly profiles, the TAS market profiles. Now, there's a new one, Tom, that's attempting to form. So I just wanted to update you and our listeners out there because the new level to be watching, assuming this takes hold, I won't really know till till Friday, but right now we have to go with the data we've got. It's 45.49. Okay. If we see the ES Mini, Close below 45.49. Tom, that's going to be a signal for you and I that we've got a change in trend in the market. And, you know, you got to take this stuff step by step. We've got the daily top. We've got the yearly topping signal sets caution. The daily topping signals that are in there. Weekly topping signals that are in. A rising spot volatility index. And now we've just got these levels here, the bottom of these weekly profiles, that will give us the final answer to this puzzle. And, folks, take it seriously, as Steve just said, because the bottom line is that you can study it right now. It's a lot easier when you study it when it yes. comes. Yeah, yes, right? Yes, I yes. mean, thanks, man. Totally. Great education, yes. man. They're, but they're, we know. We've been doing this long enough. It's a lot easier yeah. aware of where, where are the signs, man? Where are the signs? That's yeah. right. That's right. Have a great one, Steve. Have a safe one. Go, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 315. We get the NASDAQ off 118. S&Ps are down 36. Let's go take a look at uh, this uh, equity right here. For our uh, man Andy and Boulder. Okay, it's QD. No. QQD, I believe. Okay, so QQD, let's see. Uh, Simply Growth Equity Plus, Downside Convexity ETS. 
to track the U.S. growth equity market while boasting performance during extreme market moves via a schematic options overlay. The fund combines a passive NDX100 exposure with actively managed out-of-the-money puts. Okay, so <laughs> it's amazing that they can even come up with an um, ETF like this. So let's just go through this again. Okay, so I understand what they're doing here, but even before I look at the chart, Andy, I'd say that no, don't buy this. And this is why. So watch what they're doing here. They're, they're, they're claiming, okay, well, they're not claiming. This is what they're going to do. But they, it's a fund that is the QQQ, passive, NDX100, right? And then what they're doing is that they're actively managing out-of-the-money puts, so what they're looking for on a continual basis, and this is what you are depending on um, if you buy this, <clears throat> is that, number one, they're going to buy the right out-of-the-money puts. And number two, that you, the bottom line is that there's going to be a downdraft, and inside of the downdraft, those out-of-the-money puts are actually going to come into, into the money in order to basically leverage out and make it delta neutral. So what delta neutral means, folks, okay, is this. It's delta mean, neutral would mean specifically that, let's say this equity is right now at $30.60. Well, a true delta neutral trade would be an offset exactly of $30.60, which is very hard to do. You can do it. Portfolio-wise, it's actually easier. On the Bloomberg portfolio-wise, I can put my portfolio in and hit a couple buttons and it can tell me exactly how many puts you'd have to buy in every indice in order to be exactly neutral and then you'd know what the insurance would cost you because that that's what that's what it is so the bottom line is that let's go look at the allocations it's it's, it's a qqq that's the bottom line that's yeah, the qqq so no i wouldn't buy it and i wouldn't buy it for that reason meaning that you're still depending on you know someone turning around and Buy it out of the money puts. And outside of that, Andy, uh, you can see there's only 11,000 shares traded. This fund is illiquid. Yeah. 32,000 is the normal. Yeah. I, I don't think that, I think that fund will actually, well, here, let's, let's look at it. One second. Oh, let's, we can find this out. Let me see this. Okay, so issued. Where is it? Holding, allocation, let's see, organizational, organization. I'm trying to figure out when this started, because it looks to me, I would say it looks to me like, oh, thank you, 12, yeah, they, they just started, they, this won't, they'll, they'll end up canning this fund, it's only a $17 million market cap, and you have to get, that because they have so many regulations, folks, these market caps have to be really large, even though, you know, you can see this, they're, they're making four-tenths of one percent as a fee, but it needs a lot more than that uh, to stay in business. I suspect it's not going to stay in business. 877-927-6648. Look at this bump up in the NASDAQ, NQH. This is a nice bump up. So NASDAQ right now, when I started it out, it was down about 115 it had a little blurp down, and now you're going right after the highs again. And let's see what time is it. 3.34. There's this will blow people's minds. There's plenty of time. 6.04. Yeah, there's plenty of time for this market to be flat coming into the close. And that, no doubt, will blow some minds. Um, what I, you know what I am going to do after I get off, though? i got to reset my head. And remember, when I was talking about Dave Mosner, I was talking about when Greenspan actually went up six times in a row. The way that the market is playing out here, you know, I can see the Fed going four easy. And what what happens, folks, what happens when that happens, you know, the Fed would come out and everyone would be used to, okay, we're going up another quarter percent. We're going up another quarter percent. We're going up another quarter percent. What Greenspan did, I believe, he went quarter, quarter, half, quarter, quarter, quarter. And that, that was when he basically 
that was the first time that I really got to understand when they just talk about taking a punch bowl away, they normally go over the other side too. Let's go to John in New York. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How you How been, you? man? Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, so double line income solutions, huh? Yes. Um, I have two questions. Yes. Um, it goes ex dividend on January uh, 12th. Okay. Uh, record January 13th. Okay. When does the the dividend usually gets uh, subtracted from the price of this uh, the stock, right? Yes, that'll be the is day of X dividend. On the on the morning or the closing? At the morning. At the opening, okay. Yes. Yeah. So what he's saying, what happens is this, folks: stocks at sixteen twenty nine. Let's say if they're paying a dividend of who knows twenty cents or something, cents, yeah. it 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 basically comes right down at the open. Yes. What's, what's is, cool about when you're getting dividends uh, uh, in that aspect, if you, get a, if you get a positive day, folks, what happens sometimes is that, you know, it's supposed to, because that's cash coming out, what's supposed to happen is that it's supposed to come down, let's, let's just say it's 20 cents, okay, it closes at 16.30, it should open at 16.10, but if you have a good day in the market, it might be 16.15, and, you know, you just pocketed it, and it, it all, but, but fundamentally, that's exactly how it happens, what you said, yeah. But you have to be the owner of record on the record date, right? Oh, yeah. So the 13th would be the record date. Right. And um, does it pay? I'm sorry. I'm watching you on the screen, so it's confusing. I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, just, just ask me the question. Uh, I have the screen up. I'm looking at it. Y'all looking at it too. I have the screen up. That's. I'm Does trying to find the dividend. I can't seem to find the dividend on here. I'm sorry. What'd you say, John? Does it pay to buy it on the ex-dividend date at the open? No, 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 no. no. The, it, that is way too tricky. <laughs> uh, and a picture. If if that worked all the time, we'd all be doing it. Yeah. No, it's not how it works. What no. the way to look at dividends is this: if you like the equity and you want to stay in the equity, dividends are awesome. Okay, you know I don't even mind a pullback if I really like the equity and then I feel like I got an extra bump as long as you know I'm holding the stock. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, this is managed by the Double Line, which is uh, Jeffrey Gundlach. Okay, hey, just stay right there. We're going to come right back. Stay right there, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We got the uh, Dow Industrials down 290, NASDAQ off 83, S&P's down 28. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we're talking with John from New York, and we're talking about uh, DSL. So this is pretty cool, John. I was just talking with some of the tigers in the den here. So this is pushing off an 8% dividend. I'm sure you probably already know that, but and it's paid monthly. Yeah, I would stay right there. I mean, if you own this, because, see, look at these holdings. What, what, what's happening in these holdings, right? Come on, baby. Come on up. I was looking up in the end. There they are. So inside of these holdings, what you have is this. Okay, so you got... You can see Brazil, that's going to be basically all about oil. Petrobras is all about oil. Um, you know, you get a nice, uh, you know, you have 17% you have commercial mortgages, 16 oil and gas, other 15, diversified financial aid, telecommunication aid. It's okay. This is kicking off some money, man. You know? So, I mean, if you're happy with 8%, stay right there, man, because... It looks to me like that'll be kicking it off for a bit. Okay. Okay, man. Um, another question, if you have time. Yes, I do. Uh, Jay Powell said he's going to raise the rates uh, three, three or four times in the next year. Yes. Is that reflected in the bond prices already, or will it be reflected when he does the raising every quarter, or whatever? It's both. So yeah, let's bring. I'll bring up the ten-year right now. See this ten-year right here. So I'm going to bring this down to the two-year first. See how the two-year right now is, that's at nine-tenths of one percent. You can see the last, watch this, so I put this back a year. When I put it back a year, you see how it's, it was one-tenth of one percent was the low. Now we're at nine-tenths of one percent. Okay, so you're up 800 percent, right? 900 percent in a year already. The Federal Reserve has the power over the short end of the curve, meaning the two, the five, and the ten year. If you're, the way to look at this is that if you're thinking about mortgages, you gotta think about like four and a half percent, and right now they're at like three and a half. I expect they'll go up another full percentage. Because what we've also had is this, the it's the supply and demand equation more so inside of the mortgage market. People think that the mortgage is just going to go through the roof, and they're not, because what happens is that there's so many people that have already refinanced at low rates, they're, they're still, the mortgage rates themselves, well, they're the highest they have been in, in a year last week, okay? But we're still talking about 3.25%, you know? So when they go up, they're talking about the discount rate. So the discount rate right now, I believe, is still at zero. It's at zero to 0.25. That's the rate that they go up on, John. That's the mm -hmm. discount rate from bank to bank. What's supposed to happen is that as soon as they go up, simultaneously inside the bond market, they would go up a quarter percent. But the reality is, is that we've already went from, if we do this, watch this, if I do this in three months, we probably already went, as you just said, 
So we just went from, yeah, we just went from 1.34, yeah, we did, 250, we just went up more than a quarter percent, actually. Because if we take that 1.34, add 250, but that's 590, and we're at uh, 7, 5, yeah, we've already gone up, uh, let's see, uh, a quarter percent, and we're almost up another, uh, we're up another eighth, so we're, we're basically up three-eighths of a percent right now. Mm -hmm. In the last ninety days, so it's it's kicking in. The, the way the way that I think you know, if you're worrying about percentage rates going up, folks, uh, they're not going to go up dramatically. You know, but the economy is cranking, and people do have money, so they have to clamp down somewhere, man. I mean, <laughs> and, and inflation's raging. I mean, what, let me ask you this, John. What do you think? Prices. Where where are you on prices? Well, I have the Vanguard short term bond fund, and it's down. I'm losing two hundred bucks right now, and I'm thinking of selling it. Okay, so that that bond fund is a is a positive bond fund, right? A bullish. W what's in that bond fund? It's mostly government securities, I think. Right. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So this is what the difference is. If if you want to stay in bonds, I would, I would I'd, I'd move that out because what ends up happening, if they move that out, if they move the securities out, right, the difference is is that you're still part of the fund and you're going to take either the up or down of that. The best way, if, if you're happy, folks, okay, as let's say as these rates keep going higher, if you're happy with a rate, go to um, Treasury Direct. It's a great way of buying treasuries right off the treasury. They don't charge you. There's no fee. There's no nothing. The difference is that you're buying the bond right off the treasury. You hold the bond. You get your interest. And end the story, man. And that's, that's the way to do it. Bond funds, because they will try to basically, you know, they, they don't hold them to the end, you know, can lose a lot of money on, in a high rate environment for sure. So if... If you think that we're going in a high rate environment, the way that you would do it is this. Let's say that you got, uh, you know, 50,000 invested. You could go like this. You could go month by month by 10,000. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. And then within six months, you'd have, the, it's called laddering bonds. You ladder the bond and you're, you're in great shape. You're paying no fees. You know what the exact you know, interest rate is, and you're going to get your money back because it's the government. <laughs> you know, so something to look at. Thank you, Tom. Okay, Happy man. New Year. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And if, right. if the question is, what's bonds? With Treasury Direct, folks, you can buy every bond that the Treasury auctions off. Okay, it's it's pretty cool. You know, so if you haven't been over there, it's worth. It's definitely worth going over, getting to understand how that works, because you know, in a in a higher rate environment. That we're coming into, if you ladder bonds, it's a very nice way that you can sleep at night. The bottom line, you don't have to worry about it. So, I don't know. It's cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got Roblox. Let's go see where Roblox is going to go. Uh, R-O-B. One second. Sorry about this. I'll get this. R B L X. Okay, so we got a tiger that bought this this morning. We got a nice bounce going. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like it. So look at this. Look at this, look at this man. So the gap was seventy nine dollars. Oh my God, this is sick. Look at this, folks. I, this is blows my mind. That you've heard me say this a million times, but it still does. Look at this. The top of the gap. On this equity, seventy nine dollars and two pennies, and guess where it went, folks? It rejected seventy nine dollars and two pennies, and now it's at eighty four this morning. Okay, so the bounce—you can get a bounce easy to ninety three. You're at eighty four, and where I'm going with that? That's the last time that we went lower with volume. You get some action here, man, and particularly because, you know, guess what? It went straight down from one forty one. I believe this company. This is a high fly. I believe it's still losing money though. Let's see what they do. I know what they do, but I'm just seeing. No, they're making money. Yeah, that's even better. Yeah, they're going to make 53 cents this quarter. 
Take it at 780 million, make uh, 53 cents. Yeah, you get action here, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 223. You get the NASDAQ off 31. S&Ps are down 17. And these NASDAQ futures, folks, this is something to keep your head wrapped around here. We were talking about they could go flat, and it looks like they're going to be flat. Maybe they'll turn green. This is important to understand. The size of this hammer out here today is saying that you are going to get a monster bounce. I mean, I've seen candlesticks for quite a Sometime. I, I mean, I use bars myself, but the bottom line is this, is that when you get a, can, a candlestick like we're going to have right now tonight on, you can expect a monster bounce. That's just how it works. And what's going to happen also at 547, yeah, is that you're in the larger range again. Anything inside of a 15,547 brings you right back in the range. So you broke downtown. You broke. So check this out. This was amazing. You broke right to where we broke out from on the 23rd of August. And here we go, we're going green, man. This thing's gonna bounce. And this is something you really wanna watch like a hawk because when you get something like this, you get a bounce, it's like, you know, you can go to the highs. That's, that's the reality. We'll, we'll see where, what kind of pickup that we actually get. But 
when you do have something like that, guess what? You can go a lot higher, and that'll really blow some minds. There's no doubt. <laughs> There's, it's, it's, this is pretty wild. This is, this is about as good as you can get. There's no doubt about that. Um, Dow, Dow Industrials, that well, the, see, the Dow never made it down to any of the swing points anyway. The, the bottom line, the Dow rejected price, you know, going into strength, going back from the 23rd of August. I mean, November. August, November, uh, December, sorry. Yeah, 23rd of December. That rejected lower price. That's going to want higher price. And we go to the composite. We take a look at the composite. Same deal. Composite. Well, the composite came back to it, how we came off the bottom October 14th. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Well, get him, folks.